Criminals thank PM's party as they leave jail early amid overcrowding crisis. Prisoners punched the air with delight as they were released early to ease the overcrowding crisis behind bars. Former Home Secretary Suella Braverman branded the mass release a day of shame, amid warning some will immediately commit more crimes. Victims Commissioner Baroness Newlove revealed many victims were not aware of the early releases, prompting fresh heartache and fear. Up to 1,750 prisoners are being released today 40% of the way through their sentences, rather than halfway, to tackle jail overcrowding. The number of spare places in male prisons fell to just 300 on Monday. One convicted drug dealer said Sir Keir Starmer's policy had made him a lifelong Labour voter. Jabba Banaloa, 20, was greeted by five friends this morning. He said, I thank Labour because I've come out five or six months early than I was supposed to, so I'm just happy. Chief Inspector of Prisons Charlie Taylor warned the move was risky, but Mrs. Braverman blasted. Risky is the understatement of the year. This will undoubtedly lead to re-offending and put more pressure on the police. Crime will be committed, public safety will be undermined and victims will be let down. Today is a day of shame for this Labour government. Chief Inspector of Probation Martin Jones admitted that offenders freed today were almost bound to be sent back to jail within days or weeks because things will go wrong in the community and they would breach the terms of their licenses. Mr Jones said there was also certainty that some of the freed criminals would re-offend so the numbers are that around about a third of people released from prison each year will be proven to have committed a further offence within a year, he told BBC Radio 4 today. And then, of course, there's a small risk that some of those offences will be serious, and whilst rare, that risk cannot be eliminated. The chief inspector said the main risk was that freed prisoners would end up homeless and, as a result, fall back into crime. Despite a pledge by the Ministry of Justice, MOJ, to ensure all 1,750 will have guaranteed accommodation for 12 weeks.